Today, I'm going to turn this satellite into this. So let's get into it. Okay, so it's cut, looks pretty good. Um, this right here, I can like either cut a notch out of or cut it completely off. Uh, but other than that, it looks pretty good. We gotta do a little bit of sanding cause the edge is really sharp right up there. Um, but pretty good. And then this is the rim to the satellite. So uh, I'm going to either hammer that down with a hammer and cut notches and stuff out of it or cut it off. But right now we should start with sanding it down and figuring out what we're going to do with this. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is, I was drawing a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna cut this notch out here and cut all the way out there. Um, but it has a cool sound. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. So there it is. I can always like sand it down um, just to make it all smooth so it's not sharp. But there's that side piece and that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take a piece of cardboard and do holes in it and then just go all the way around and make the different circles for his shield. Okay, so I did the circles. Uh, they look pretty good. What I used is a piece of cardboard with some holes in it and one pencil and another pencil and then just stuck one in the hole at the top and then another one in the hole at the bottom and just went around and held that one in place and that one just moved around. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna try to get this off or do something with this, try to fix it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, look at my blade. Uh, it shrunk. It's super tiny. That's extremely small. So, it was, when I first started out, about the size of the inside of the circle here. Um, but then it shrunk to be that small. So, that's a big difference. So, I'm going to go ahead and change it. Then I can get back to cutting. So I'm just going along like this, um, and I don't know if you can see, but that silver line is where I'm cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and change the blade and then I can get back to it.
Okay, so as you can see, I got a little help, but looks pretty good. The only thing it's missing is more chunks that are cut out of it and all beat up and stuff. Um, and then the paint, but in some spots it's sharp, like right here. It's pretty sharp, so. Um, I'm gonna try to like sand that and cut most of it off. Um, but then we can add the other cool marks and the paint. So let's do it. Okay, so I smoothed it all out. It's still a little rough, but it's not like there's really sharp shards everywhere. So, looks pretty good. Um, but now I just have to add more marks like that. Um, I'm probably gonna add some more up here and probably some more on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a pencil and I can draw where I think I might want some marks. So I'll just take a small one out of there. Um, I'll take a big and then a small One there, one there. We have the one there, that's good. Maybe I'll take one out of the bottom down here. But really just play around however many marks you want out of it. Notches um, you can take out. So I'm gonna go and take those out and then we can paint it. Okay, so I cut the notches. I added one there, it's like a mountain, another one there, one there, one there, and then I have that one. So, it looks pretty good, um, but I'm gonna spray paint it, so I'm just gonna do it like the normal Captain America. Uh, red, white, red, and then the star, and blue. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and spray paint that. Okay, so I finished painting the shield, and I added the marks and the little details and stuff on there. Um, it looks pretty good, but the only thing we need to add is... The straps. Uh, what I use for the details is I just used my Dremel and put a bunch of different bits. And what I'm going to use for the straps is this is an old belt. You can use a piece of fabric or whatever you have laying around, a piece of cardboard foam. And then I'm going to use some rubber cement to do the straps. So let's do it. Okay, so I finished the straps. Just used the belt pieces. Um, used some rubber cement uh, to put those on. And then I just put some duct tape over. So put a piece going like that, a piece going across. So those look pretty good. So now let's take a look at the entire shield. Thanks for watching Kid Cardboard, remember to subscribe.